you went and you were doing your YouTube videos. Yes. Did you just keep doing that straight, same channel and everything? No, and I, I branched out. So I started off that the, the first channel I made was called Colby1019. That was originally, because remember you'd have your URL. I used to like old YouTube where you could design the page with different graphics and uh -huh. they've, they've, they've made it too similar. Everybody's the same thing basically. <laughs> but, but I had a devotion to Maximilian Colby and I didn't know why. I didn't know his theology, his mentality would be so prominent in my brain, in my mind, his writings in my mind. But I just knew that he liked tech. So I was like, oh, you'll be the patron. Colby, that's my YouTube, Colby1019. So I, I had that channel and that's where I, you can, people can go back and see. I was just uploading random homilies with pictures and <laughs> I was the original one that's putting all the- Just little Ken, reflections Ken here Burns, there. Ken Burns effects uh -huh. on stuff. And then after that, I thought, well, this is my high quality channel. This has a lot of subscribers. I will make another channel that just has, you know, me giving my reflections, my my my, okay. dirt, my dirt thoughts. And that was Gabi After Hours. Okay. And then that one began to be bigger than the other one. And then I would record talks, but I didn't want to junk up Gabi After Hours where they were starting, the production was starting to go up with only talks. So then I had to have... Uh, True Faith Talks. So I had three, I have three YouTube channels now. It's a disaster and it's a mess. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still doing that method simply because if I ever get can canceled, I don't think I will because I, I the most controversial things I talk are all church related and spiritual. Uh -huh. um, so I don't think I'll ever get canceled, but if I do, people will know well, he's in here on YouTube floating around somewhere. So You have three different places yeah. that you can be at. And then- you also have podcasts. Yeah, so those those podcasts have now gone to the True Faith TV, which was originally Colby One Hundred One Nine. Okay, that was that that went back to the original YouTube channel. But the thing with the podcast is, I'm not a good podcaster in that I don't give people what they want. I don't have a schedule. I don't, so I can never pod fade because I never had a schedule to begin with. <laughs> okay, so I will. I think it's God's will that I do it in flurries. Like right now, I have no. There's no podcast on my mind. I have no. I have. It's not an inspiration. But then, okay, you know what I mean. But then I. I have no doubt that when the summer comes back, that there will be six podcasts in a row. But like right now, I'm really heavy focusing on Gabi After Hours, making short form content. Okay. Um, in doing it in the in the way that the world does it. Um, so. Uh, so m more vlogging style, but not real vlogging. Nobody wants to see me brush my teeth. Fake. <laughs> the world. Do the world does fake vlogging. That's what's hot right now. Is fake vlogging, oh, pretending, gosh. pretending like it's a vlog, but really starting with the main idea. Okay, I'm going to take you on a journey that's separate from this main idea, mm -hmm. and now we're going to get to the main idea. So, now the podcast that you had, I <clears throat> now, I I'd listened to the Mary podcast. Yes. Yeah, they're all Marian. So the so what are the different podcasts that you have? So they're all Marian, mostly. So, and again, I had this is all Mary's plan. I didn't want to make a podcast. Okay. I don't. You're a great podcaster. I'm. Oh, thank I, you. I struggle and I suffer. I'm not a host. I'm not a good host. Like I, I have to have my papers in front of me so that I don't talk too much, so that my <laughs> guests can talk. I'm not good at it. Um, but our lady really wanted one where she kind of pulled the shots, and I didn't. And mm -hmm. I had put on my Amazon list a long time ago, many years ago, a roadcaster, all the various microphones and all this stuff. And in prayer, I felt like Mary was saying, I want a podcast. And I said, no, I don't want to do podcast. And she's like, you don't love me. I was like, I love you. I just don't want to do podcast. <laughs> and then I checked my phone. It was an email from some guy. I recently bought you these items off your Amazon wish list. I said, Amazon wish list. I have an Amazon wish list. I forgot that I even had the wish list. And it's funny because now I have a wish list and nobody buys me what my what I want. <laughs> but anyway, so I had the roadcaster, I had all these things, and I said, it looks like Mary's gonna get a podcast. What do you want to wow. talk about? Blessed mother, because I have nothing to talk about. Yes. So it's called the Children of Mary Podcast. And we just talk about whatever she wants, her topics. So it's just that one podcast. Yeah. The so if people look up the Children of Mary podcast, right. that's the yeah, one. The Children of Mary podcast. Yeah. Okay. I was under the the impression that there were several. Well, there's so no, there's there's several episodes. Okay. Yeah, there's several episodes. So there's, and this is me being cheating again. So we did nine in a cluster. So I called that season one, and yes. then we did nine in a cluster, and I called that okay. season two. So then, 
at some point when we pick back up again, we'll call that season three. <laughs> now, who are your co-hosts? So my co-host is my literal assistant, my youth ministry assistant. Her name is Claire. She's awesome. She keeps the the youth ministry from falling apart. She does all spreadsheets. She does all organization. She does all contacts. She does all paperwork. She does everything that requires numbers, words, and forms. Okay, so she's the Joel that we she's, have here. Yeah, at the, she's Saint she's Faustina. she's holding it together. Okay, yeah, she's holding it together. And I found her when Father Urell, the pastor at the time, had said, "Hey, you're going to do youth ministry," and I said, "No, I'm not. I can't. I will die. <laughs> I can speak to teenagers, no problem. Uh -huh. I cannot do any of this other stuff. Either you will get me an assistant, uh -huh. or you're going to have to fire me because I'm not going to do it." And then he said, "You, I, I will get you an assistant. Go find your assistant. And so I went and tried to find the best assistant in the entire United States, the entire world. And I did. And it was first and foremost, she was organized. She would send me retreat outlines. I don't want to do retreats. I, I want to be with my family. Outlines, activities, games. She knew, she was wow. just a brilliant, a, a, wow. wit, a whiz on all this. Wow. And I said, hey, will you move to Houston? Absolutely not. I'm not moving. Oh, what if it's God's will? <laughs> okay, only if it was. So she's very holy. Uh -huh. Only if it's God's will. I said, okay, I'll talk to God. <laughs> but you have to talk to God. And so, of course, it turned out to be God's will. But most importantly, she loved Gabi after hours. So it is Claire who pulls my weight. I, I do a lot at the youth ministry. I give the talks. I do all the lessons, all uh -huh. the catechesis, all the fatherly things that the children need in their life. But she really pulls extra weight so that as she allows me and enables me to do extra outreach, which fortunately I've been blessed with pastors like Father Reynolds, Father Urell, Father Angelino, who know that to reach teenagers, you have to also be on the platforms that they are on. Yes. So I know when I've won kids, when they start wearing their sacramentals and when they say, hey, I've been watching your YouTube. I was like, oh, we won you. Mm -hmm. We won you because now you're filling your mind on your own time with godly things. Now your other um, your other co-host. Yes, Keenan. Yeah. Keenan, my brother and the blessed mother. I love that guy. Yes. So he is out for now. He's okay. out because he's he's a seminarian now. Oh yes. A seminarian. Maybe maybe he'll be one of our priests one day. Uh, hopefully we'll be blessed to get him as our our pastor. Uh, but yeah, so he's out, but he's absolutely amazing. He used to be my student so I, I, I tend to be friends with those who I used to teach because they think like me, they love the same things I love, but not because they're mine, but because they're the loves of the church. So yeah, they come back. The current plan now is all of your stuff, mainly you're focusing on Gabby After Gabby Hours. Gabby After Hours, yeah, that's, that's where, that's where that's where the heavy lifting is done. That's where I think about it morning, noon, and night. I think about Our Lady, what's your plan? And then I, like you, I love the technical side. So when yes. I'm, my leisure is how to make better YouTube videos, tech gear, A7 IV, A7 S3, Sony FX3, audio microphones, Sure SM7B, <laughs> all of it. I love it. Just like uh, Father David Michael, yes. when he comes in here, we we start talking technical yes, stuff with love Herm it. and all of that. Yeah. Lighting equipment, soft boxes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it.